Everybody say it. Heading 13, 13. Hey, people. Okay, it is Monday. Chase ate, uh, stayed home from school today um, because he has the asthma issues. The weather change, it's like, you know, it was so beautiful the other day, and now it's starting to get colder. Tonight it's supposed to sleet and ice and all the way to Wednesday, so whatever. But with the weather change and everything, he just... You know, asthma is what happens. So, I um, he had to do an asthma treatment this morning, and then I could still hear the rattle. And I just knew that, you know, if he has another asthma attack at school, they're just going to send him home. I don't have a way to go and get him. So, I was like, just stay home. And he's he was sleeping for a long time. Hold on, I already wants to go in the house. Go. Ugh. Okay, sorry for the extreme close-up. Um, yeah, it is pretty chilly out, but it feels really good to me, like, in small spurts, because the steroids make me really, really hot. So, um, yeah, I come out here, cool down for a little bit, and then go back inside, and whatever. Um, Brittany came over, she's finishing her laundry, and she painted my nails, and, um, I think... Oh, Chase woke up, and they are, um, they went to Sonic to go get the happy hour drinks. <laughs> so, Route 44 in the house. And, um, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Oh, and yesterday, I did put up the video. I wanted to show you some stuff, and then I showed Chico Ping. This was the deal. I wanted to show you guys some stuff with me standing and stuff, but then my legs were getting super tired, so I couldn't do that, so... I didn't cut that out, and then it, I, it looked stupid, so I will try to show you. I had PT today. I didn't do as well. He said I was doing really well, but, you know, me, I'm like, I was standing for that long, and now I'm like, I feel like I've taken three steps backwards, but the deal is, is that this whole weekend I had that fire thing in my legs again, and I don't know why it's on the weekends, but... I mean, it was like fire. So, um, that, like, not only emotionally, but physically wears me out. And so my legs were really shaky and, um, real spastic today. Like, they were bouncing and stuff real bad. So, he was like, well, if it was like last week, then, uh, Wednesday, when I come, you should be walking. <laughs> so, um, Hopefully Wednesday will be better, and I will check y'all in a little bit. Bye. Uh, Chase bought me hey, a happy hour. What is it? Root cherry. Four cherry limeade. Nice. Cause he loves me. Okay, what? Say it. Hey Heather, did you break a tooth last night? On what, Brittany? On that hideous lasagna you made. The lasagna that I found in the frozen, uh, in the freezer, I freaking burnt it. So there. In the microwave. It said 30 minutes. That's hard to do, to burn something in the microwave, I feel. I feel. And then it, they freaking roasted me for hours. <laughs> Because you couldn't, like, I spent so much time to, trying to cut in and get the middle area, and it still was so hard to cut through. That yeah, I had to, It took. have off. you people ever eaten lasagna with a steak knife? <laughs> or a jackhammer? But imagine if a steak knife didn't even work. <laughs> it didn't. <laughs> we had to get Chico to breathe on all of our lasagnas. Your jaw is sore after eating this lasagna. It was disgusting. Shut up. You guys ate. You know my No, we didn't. I had to no. throw it away. Wet, because I'm black. I have that, that part of my tooth that's fake. Yeah. That part of my tooth almost ran away when I ate that. We're and done. It's fake. It doesn't even know what's happening. Yeah. We're does. done. We're done. You're done. <laughs> okay. We all remember I was fat in fifth grade. So the only thing going for me was my personality. So. <laughs> she was be, not fat. I tried to be the funny kid. And when we knew that the boy's cabin 
next to our cabin, which our cabin was called Butt Ram. Oh, uh, I mm -hmm. remember that cabin. Now nobody's allowed to use it because I don't let it. Hold on, this is who's he's calling my. Oh, oh. no. Oh. Okay, keep telling the story. There was a boys' cabin right next to Well, hold on now, Chase is being loud. There was a boys' cabin right next to our cabin. And when they, we knew they left for an activity, we snuck in. You have to be and louder, so we, we snuck in. in. Uh huh. And we put rocks in their suitcase, <laughs> and we sure. and we stole underwear out of their suitcase, and we hung all of their stuff out of their suitcases in the tree <laughs> in front of their cabin. <laughs> so when they came back, their underwear was hanging <laughs> up, and that was pretty mortifying because it was fifth grade, and we're not supposed to see each other's underwear. <laughs> it was a really good time. And, and there was that was the grade. fifth grade camp. Yeah, but let me tell you about the mysterious underwear story. Okay. Someone in my cabin, okay, mm -hmm. left their poopy, like poop-filled underwear in the bathroom. Like, we're in fifth grade, someone pooped their pants, no one would claim the underwear the whole week. And the moms that were in the cabin with us would not do anything about the underwear until someone came clean about it. <laughs> <gasps> That's a pun that I don't like. <laughs> <laughs> so, so to this day, I don't know who's underwear. Nobody. Because I know, because I went to school with the other four girls up until senior year of high school. And to this day, no one knows whose underwear it was. It was yours, wasn't it? Was it yours? No. Gross.